Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to create the square grid 4 times 4 or 4 per 4 and even 8 per 8 if you stay until the end. So um, let's start with our circle. I'm using a 5 centimeters radius here, but you can use any radius you like. And next we are drawing our horizontal line. So we always start with a horizontal line passing through the center. Now I'm going back to my initial radius and making two marks pointing the compass on the right and then two marks pointing my compass on the left. These marks intersect with the main circle, so I'll use those intersections to make another four marks, two at the top and two at the bottom. And from the intersection of those marks, I can create the vertical line, just aligning my ruler to them and making sure my line passes through the center of the circle as well. Now let's go back to our initial radius and pointing my compass at this new intersection, let's draw another two marks at the bottom and two at the top intersecting the previously drawn uh, marks. And I'll need those intersection to draw a square around the circle. Just like this. So now you have four squares and let's add the diagonal lines as well. So now uh, let's divide each of these four mini squares into other four squares. So the first thing we're going to do is add the diagonals. If you can see, we already have one diagonal inside each of these four squares. So we're going to add the second one, the other one. And next we are using the two points of intersection between these diagonals and add the line connecting them. And we, you can do that, you will do that also horizontally. And you will see magic trick. You're dividing each mini square into four mini mini squares. And the main square, the big square, is now divided into four per four. And just like that, you just keep adding diagonals inside each mini square. And connecting opposite points, you can divide the, uh, the big square into 8 per 8, which is 64 tiny squares. And you see now I'm missing this, the central part, so I'm just keep adding diagonal lines like this. and the other side as well. So you just keep adding diagonals and then from the intersection of those diagonals, you add the horizontal, horizontal lines, vertical lines, and you keep dividing your square. So now you can even go further and divide each of these tiny squares, adding the diagonal, and then the horizontal vertical line so you can keep doing that okay i hope you enjoyed this content make sure to subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye